I'm going to show you how to make this adorable crochet dog. Cavalier Spaniel. And this is what it looks like from behind. You can see the color changes on the body. She has movable legs. So I, I'm making a video for my crochet Cavalier King Charles Spaniel dog. And I had a written pattern for this for about three years and I never did the YouTube video tutorial so I'm going to be doing the YouTube video tutorial now. And I'm using different yarn so I just wanted to show you the yarn choices that I used for my written pattern because I like the choice and colors that I used for the written pattern. I just don't have them at my house right now so I'm going to be using the, whatever browns that I have around the house. But I used one skein. I love this yarn color terracotta which is a really pretty color. One skein Lion Brands Vanna's Compliment Fisherman color for the soft cream. One skein Red Heart color black. One skein Red Heart color baby pink. 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. Tapestry needle pair of scissors. One animal nose. Now I'm going to be using a slightly larger animal nose. And these are about 30 millimeters in size. Here's what it looks like. So 30 millimeter but on the written pattern I had used a 21 millimeter nose. And the safety eyes for the written pattern I used 15 millimeter. I'm going to be using an 18 millimeter safety doll eyes for the video tutorial. For the video tutorial I'm using impeccable for my beige or white colored yarn. This color is actually let's see if I can find the color Aran. So it's actually an Aran color if you like the color that I used for a YouTube video. Again, this is the impeccable yarn. And you're only going to need one skein of this. We're going to start with the magic circle with your beige or white colored yarn. So you're going to take your yarn, drape it across your four fingers, use your thumb to stabilize, and then wrap the yarn twice around your two middle fingers. And then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then take your 3.75 millimeter crochet hook, Go right under those two loops around the middle fingers, bring up a loop, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now you're going to take your forefinger and thumb, hold the base of the six single crochet. You have these two loops on the opposite side. Pull on one. If it doesn't close, let go and pull on the other one, but this one's closing. Then take that loose yarn in and pull on that. Then turn your work so that we're working in rounds and we're going to work into that first stitch. So go into that first stitch, grab both loops, and you're going to make two single crochet into the same stitch. And you're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. So two single crochet in every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round and then come back. Now you should have 12 total stitches in the round we're going to continue our increase rounds, which means we're going to continue increasing the number of stitches in the round. We're going to make three more increase rounds. Go ahead and place your yarn marker right where you left off, and you're going to make one single crochet into one stitch, and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into one stitch two single crochet into the next stitch. And you're repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now you should have 18 total stitches in the round. Go ahead and take your yarn marker, move it right to where you left off. Then you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. 
one single crochet into two stitches, two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Then for the next increase round, go ahead and move your yarn marker up. You're going to make one single crochet into three stitches, two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around. Now you should have a total of 30 stitches in the round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up, and now you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for three rounds. So three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, and you're not increasing, so you're not going to get more than 30 total stitches in the round. You're going to maintain your stitch count of 30 for each round. So go ahead, finish making one single crochet in every stitch around for three rounds, and then come back. Now after you finish the three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, you can go ahead and remove the yarn marker and just leave a little bit of a loop here where you left off. We're going to make, we're going to place the nose. So go ahead and get your safety doll nose. So for mine, I used the magic circle as a landmark and I counted three rounds up and then I placed my safety doll nose right into that space. Then you can take and place the safety latch on the back of the nose. What's nice about this safety nose is you can actually sew the nose in place if you wanted to, but I've never had any problem with the noses coming off, so I just use the safety latch on the back. And I like the metal or the plastic safety latches. You see how it grips it and holds it in place, and then you can't get it off. Now we're ready to resume where we left off on the snout. Now we're going to make an increase round, so we're going to increase the number of stitches in the round. Go ahead and make one single crochet into four stitches. And then two single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. One single crochet into four stitches, two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around. Then take and move the yarn marker up to where you left off. You should have 36 total stitches in the round, and you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for one round. So one round of one single crochet in every stitch around. So now you notice that I placed the nose with the loop on this side of the nose so I can count 32 stitches and end up above the nose in this spot. So you can line up the stitches so that you're just just past imaginary line from the left side of the nose because we're going to start making the white portion that goes above the nose. So go ahead, place a stitch marker into that stitch that you want to stop so we can make the white portion that goes above the nose. So for mine that was 32 total stitches. But if you have a different stitch count just make sure that your stitch marker is right in line at a slight angle to the edge of the left side of the nose. And then you're just going to make a single crochet in every stitch until you reach your stitch marker. So now I'm at the stitch just before the stitch marker. You can go ahead and remove your stitch marker. Then just make a single crochet into the stitch that you had the stitch marker in. Then you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. So go into the next stitch, yarn over, bring the yarn through the hook, and bring it through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Then you're going to turn your work, make a single crochet into the next stitch, and you're going to make a single crochet into a total of eight stitches. So that was the first one. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. And eighth. And then you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Then you're going to turn your work. You're going to make a, a single crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet in each of the next seven total stitches. So that's one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. So you can see how you're forming that top part that goes onto the head, the white portion that will go onto the head for its decoration. So now you're going to turn your work again, make a single crochet into the next stitch, and one single crochet into a total of six stitches. So here's my second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Then you're going to turn your work again, make a single crochet into the next stitch for one, next stitch for two, next stitch for three, next stitch for four, and next stitch for five. Then you're going to turn your work, make a single crochet into the next stitch for one, next stitch for two, next stitch for three, and next stitch for four. So now we're going to maintain a stitch count of four. So you're going to chain one, turn your work, make a single crochet into the next stitch. That first chain one counts as your first stitch on the end. That's my second, third, and fourth. So I completed one row with the stitch count of four and you're going to make a total of ten. So that was one, chain one, Turn your work, go into the next stitch for two, next stitch for three, next stitch for four. So that was my second row. Then you're going to chain one. You just keep repeating this. Chain one, turn your work, next stitch for two, next stitch for three, next stitch for four. So that was my third row. So go ahead, finish repeating that stitch count of four for ten rows, and then come back. Remember, it's a total of 10, so I just did three. So this is how my work looks so far. You can see how this is centered with the nose, the white portion, which is what you want. And we just finished the 10 rows of stitch count of four. Now, you're gonna chain one, turn your work, make a single crochet into the same stitch. So go into that same stitch and make a stitch, a single crochet. Then you're going to make one single crochet into the next stitch so for your third stitch, next stitch for your fourth, and then two single crochet into that last stitch and you'll have a stitch count of six. So we added two stitches to this next row. So now we have a stitch count of six. Now we're going to repeat that one more time to get a stitch count of eight. So right now we have a stitch count of six. So you're going to chain one, turn your work, make a single crochet into the same stitch for two, next stitch for three, next stitch for four single crochet, next stitch for five, next stitch for six, and then two single crochet into that last stitch on the end. One, Two. So now you have a total of eight total stitch count and we're going to maintain that eight total stitch count for four more rows. So you chain one, turn your work. That chain one counts as your first stitch so go into the next stitch for your second single, single crochet, next stitch for your third, next stitch for your fourth, next stitch for your fifth, next stitch for your sixth, next stitch for your seventh, and then the last stitch on the end for eight. And you're going to repeat this for three more times. You chain one, turn your work, and then make a single crochet into the next stitch. One single crochet in every stitch back across. And you should still maintain your stitch count of eight. So remember you need a four, four rows with a stitch count of eight and then come back. So now this is how my work looks. You can see it's a little bit wider up here which is what we wanted. 
Then when you finish that last row, go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to help you sew this onto the head when we finish the head. So now we're going to sew on the mouth. So you need your black colored yarn on your tapestry needle. So now take your tapestry needle with the black colored yarn and come up from the wrong side, just under the nose, centered. Bring your tapestry needle through with the black colored yarn. Make sure you leave enough of the black colored yarn on the inside for tying a knot. I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot on the inside with the loose yarn end that I have from the magic circle. And then you can go ahead and trim that. Then you want to take and go straight down into the center of the magic circle. Then you're going to take and go at an angle. So I went the magic circle and then one round out at an angle and then come up, go back in where you came to the center of the magic circle. And then we want to make the other side of the smile. So you come up, and again, it's at about a 45 degree angle, and I'm one round out, to actually two rounds out, one, two. And then go back in where you went out one round to finish the other side of this the right side smile. So you can see little V here, straight down there. Then you're going to come out on the opposite side. So here you have this side and you want to come out on the opposite side for this angle. Then you're going to make the other side, make sure that they're even. You want it to be symmetrical on both sides. And then go back in for your left sided smile. And then that's what it looks like when you're finished. Now you can take and tie a knot on the inside. and then just trim the loose yarn ends. And that's how your smile should look. Now you can set this aside for now while we make the tongue. So you need your pink colored yarn, whatever pink color you want for the tongue. I use a different colored pink colored yarn for my written pattern, but for the video tutorial I'm using Perfect Pink if you like this color by Red Heart. Again, we're going to make the magic circle. So just like we did before, we're going to bring up a loop, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to make six single crochet into the magic circle. So here's one. Two, three, four, five, and six. Then you can take and close the magic circle. Then you can take and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to help sew the tongue in place. So now we're going to line up the tongue on the mouth and sew it in place with our tapestry needle. 
So I'm going to bring the center of the tongue through first. So that loose yarn in right in the center from the magic circle. And then you're going to take the snout and you're going to place the tongue just under the smile. You don't want to mess up the look of the smile. And then take the long end that you left for sewing and you're just going to sew along the base of the tongue. So you want to go in and out right along the base of the tongue. So you don't want the curved flat portion, flap portion sewn down, just the base of the tongue. Then take and tie a knot on the inside when you're finished. Trim the loose yarn ends. And this is what the tongue looks like when you're finished. See the flap? I left the flap and just sewed right along the base here. Now you can set this aside while we make the head. So now we're going to make the head. Go ahead and choose whatever alternate color or main color you want for your spaniel dog. And we're going to start with the magic circle again. So you just take your yarn, drape it across your four fingers, use your thumb to stabilize. Wrap the yarn twice around your two middle fingers, hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then just yarn over, bring up a loop. Then yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle, just like we've done before. Just one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you're just going to take and close the magic circle. Then we're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around, just like we've done before. So two single crochet in every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches in the round and then come back. So now you should have a total of 12 stitches in the round and you can pull on the loose yarn end on the back if you need to close the center of the magic circle. Now we're going to be making seven increase rounds in chronological order. So you're going to take and move your yarn marker right where you left off and for the first increase round you're going to make one single crochet into one stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch and you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker one single crochet in one stitch two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around for one round so now you should have a total of 18 total stitches in the round and I'm not going to give you the stitch count for each round because all you have to do is add six to the previous round. So this round we had 18 total. That means that when we finish the next increase round, add six to 18, you get 24. So you know you're going to get 24 total stitches in the round. So go ahead and move the yarn marker up and you're going to go in chronological order. So the next increase round is one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around so one single crochet into two stitches two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around then for the next increase round is one single crochet into three stitches two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around then one single crochet into four stitches and two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around then one single crochet into five stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around. Then one single crochet into six stitches and two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around. Back to the yarn marker. Then for the last increase round you're going to make one single crochet into seven stitches, two single crochet into the next stitch and repeat that pattern all the way around. You can see how you're getting larger and larger. So now after that last increase round you should have a total of 54 stitches in the round. Then you're going to take and move your yarn marker up to where you left off 
Now you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for 15 rounds. So 15 rounds of only one single crochet in every stitch around. So after you finish your 14 round, I mean 15, 15 rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, go ahead and leave a little bit of a loop of yarn where you left off. We're going to come back to that later. Now we're going to place the eyes onto the front of the head. So put the loop towards the back and then on the front we're going to place the safety doll eyes. So get your favorite safety doll eyes. For this dog I'm going to use the um, 18 millimeter safety doll eyes. On my written pattern I used a 15 millimeter eye. So anywhere 15 millimeter to 18 millimeter size safety eye will work. Using the magic circle on top you're going to count down 14 rounds. Place your safety doll eye just under the 14th round. Then you're going to place your second safety doll eye. You should have approximately 8 to 9 stitches between the safety doll eyes and make sure that you put them under the same under the 14th round. Then you can take and place the latch on the back, safety latch. Now we're going to take and sew the snout in place. So you're going to line it up. So you want to line up the first, the bottom portion first, because you're going to squinch down the top of the snout to fit between the safety doll eyes. So you're going to secure the bottom first, and you want to make sure that your nose is centered between the eyes and stays straight, and you want to make sure that you're one round up. You don't want to sew on that last round because we're going to be crocheting there. So then once you have it placed, take your tapestry needle with the same colored yarn and you're going to take and sew the bottom portion first. Make sure you leave enough yarn on the inside for tying a knot. So again, you want to constantly check, make sure that your nose is staying straight. And then finish sewing the bottom portion. So finish sewing the bottom portion. So just the bottom portion for now. Then after you finish sewing the bottom portion, you're going to take and move the top portion down and make sure that the nose is centered and then you're going to sew the top portion right along the top here. Don't sew the lower portion of the snout because you're going to put craft stuffing into that portion. So right now we're just going to sew the top portion of the snout in place making sure that the nose is staying straight and centered between the safety doll eyes. Now you can go ahead and add craft stuffing along the side. So just take and add craft stuffing into the snout. And then once you have the craft stuffing in, you can take and finish sewing down the sides of the snout with your tapestry needle and the same colored yarn. And the whole time you're sewing the side of the snout, make sure that your nose is staying straight. So you can see how I'm just taking and sewing down the sides of the snout. And then I'm going to sew the opposite side. And I would recommend on the opposite side that you start at the top so you can line it up and then take your tapestry needle and just come up on the opposite side and finish sewing the opposite side. Then after you finish sewing the snout in place then you can take your tapestry needle and finish sewing the top portion down 
And this is what my face looks like after I have everything sewn down in place. Now we're ready to finish closing the head. So we're going to go back to where we left off. So just take your yarn marker, place it right where you left off. And we're going to make decreased stitches, which means we're going to decrease the number of stitches in the round. So for the first decrease round, you're going to make one single crochet into seven stitches. Three, four, five, six, and seven. After you finish making one single crochet into seven stitches, you're going to single crochet two stitches together. So go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down, go through all three loops for a single crochet, two stitches together, or a decreased stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker, one single crochet into seven stitches, Is five, six, seven, and then single crochet two stitches together. So go ahead, finish repeating that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker. Then for the next decrease round, just move the yarn marker up, and you're going to make one single crochet into six stitches, and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker. You can go ahead and add craft stuffing at this point, and you can keep adding craft stuffing as you're closing the head. So for the next decrease round, you're going to make one single crochet into five stitches, and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker. So you should see the opening getting gradually smaller and smaller, which is what you want. Then for the next decrease round, you're going to make one single crochet into four stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around. Remember to keep adding stuffing as you close. And for the next decrease round, you're going to make one single crochet into three stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around. Then the next decrease round is one single crochet into two stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around. Then, for the next decrease round, you're going to make one single crochet into one stitch, and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around. So now, after you finish that last round, we're going to slip stitch closed. So you're going to skip a stitch, go into the next stitch, yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. And you're going to keep repeating that, skip a stitch, Go into the next stitch, yarn over, bring the yarn through both loops for a slip stitch, and we're going to keep doing that until the head is slip stitched closed. One more should do it. Then you can go ahead and finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. Now you want to get your tapestry needle and put the loose yarn end onto your tapestry needle. Go right in where you finished off, come out anywhere, and then just trim the loose yarn end. Now you can set the head aside while we make the ears. So you're going to get your main color, yarn, and then you're going to drape the yarn across your four fingers. We're going to start with a magic circle. Wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers twice. And just like we've done before, we're going to make our slip knot. Then you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle. Then you're going to close the magic circle. Then we're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around 
until you have a stitch count of 12 in the round. So two single crochet in every stitch around until you have a stitch count of 12 and then come back. So now after you have 12 stitches in the round you can take and close the center of the magic circle if you need to by pulling on that loose yarn end on the back. Then we're going to make our increase rounds. We're going to continue increasing the number of stitches in the round. Go ahead and place your yarn marker right where you left off and for the first increase round you're going to make one single crochet into one stitch, two single crochet into the next stitch and you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet in one stitch and two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around. So we're going to be increasing in chronological order all the way to one single crochet in seven stitches and two single crochet into the next stitch. Now for our next increase round you're going to be making one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around. Then for the next increase round you're going to make one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around. Then you guessed it, the next increase round is one single crochet into four stitches and two single crochet into the next stitch. So go ahead, keep making your increase rounds and stop when you get to one single crochet into seven stitches and two single crochet into the next stitch and then come back. Now you should have finished the last increase round which was one single crochet into seven stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and now you should have a total of 54 stitches in the round. Then go ahead and move your yarn marker up to where you left off and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for five rounds. So five rounds of only one single crochet in every stitch around. So now after you finish your five rounds of one single crochet in every stitch go ahead and move the yarn marker up. We're going to start making some decrease rounds. So we're going to decrease the number of stitches in the round. So for the first decrease round you're going to make one single crochet into six stitches. And then you're going to single crochet two stitches together. And then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker one single crochet into six stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around. When you get towards the end you're going to have six stitches left just make one single crochet into each of those stitches and that will leave you with 48 total stitches in the round. Then take and move your yarn marker up and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for three rounds. So three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. So after you finish your three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch go ahead and move your yarn marker up for our next decrease round and for this decrease round we're going to make one single crochet into four stitches. So not five, we're, not, we're going to be going into four. So we did not do a five one, just one single crochet into four stitches and then you're going to single crochet two stitches together. So remember for this round it's one single crochet into four stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around for one round. Now after you finish that decrease round go ahead and move your yarn marker up to where you left off. Then you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for two rounds. So two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. Now for the next decrease round go ahead and place the yarn marker where you left off and now you're going to make one single crochet into three stitches and then single crochet two stitches together and then repeat that pattern one single crochet into three stitches then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around then take and move the yarn marker up and now you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for four rounds. So four rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. Then after you finish your four rounds of one single crochet in every stitch go ahead and move your yarn marker up for our next decrease stitch 
And for this decreased stitch, you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches and then single crochet two stitches together. So repeat that pattern all the way around. One single crochet into two stitches and then single crochet two stitches together. Then for the last three rounds, go ahead and move the yarn marker up and you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for three rounds. So three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. Then, after you finish the three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, go ahead and remove your yarn marker. Then you're just going to make a slip stitch into the next stitch over. So just yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. Then you're going to finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to help sew the ear onto the dog. So you're going to need two of these. Go ahead and make two ears. 